In this video, I'm going to show you the different possibilities of how you can create Excel links and how you can manage those Excel links while charting in Empower. Right here, you can see an overview of the four major ways of creating Excel links. You can either start in PowerPoint or in Excel, or you can use the copy and paste function. But let's start with linking a chart that is already existing in PowerPoint to an Excel file. To do so, I firstly have to insert a chart into my slide. I'm going to use a stacked column chart right here. And now I have two options to create an Excel link to this chart. The first option would be to go to the action bar above my chart, click on the data menu, and click on Excel link. The second option would be to either go to the Empower ribbon if you're using Empower Slides, click on the Excel link button and then press the button Create Excel link. If you don't use Empower Slides, you can find this function in the Insert section of PowerPoint in the Empower Charts section right here. Here you can find the Excel link button and you can create an Excel link right here. So I'm pressing this button and now you can see the link Excel range window appearing. First of all, I have to select the file that I want to use. Files that are already opened in Excel will be shown at first and therefore it is the recommended way to firstly open the respective file in Excel because you can save the time that it would take to either browse all of your file folders or use a SharePoint URL, which would be possible to paste right here. When the file is opened, it doesn't matter where it is saved, whether it would be saved locally on a network drive via SharePoint or Teams. So I'm selecting this file right here and now you can see the Excel file appearing on my screen. And now I can select the range that I want to use for my chart. I'm doing this and pressing on OK. Now you can see that the Excel range that I just selected is shown right here. If I want to change it later on, I can simply click on this pen. Now I have to check the orientation of my data. Are the series that I want to display arranged in rows or in columns? In this case, my series would be the elements A, B, C, D, and they are arranged in rows, so I can keep this setting as it is. Moreover, I can choose if I want to refresh my data automatically on open when I'm opening the presentation, and I can choose if I want to use a relative path to link the Excel file to the PowerPoint file. By default, Empower creates an absolute path to link PowerPoint and Excel file. If I select the option Use Relative Path and this pair of files is saved in the same folder, it can be moved anywhere else in the file system and the links would stay intact but I'm leaving everything as it is right now and click on OK. And now you can see that the data from my Excel file is successfully imported into PowerPoint and we get a beautiful chart right here. The next way to create an Excel link would be to link an Excel file to an existing chart and start in Excel to do so. So I'm moving to my Excel file that you already know and now I'm selecting the range that I want to use for my chart. And then I can go to the Insert section of Excel. And here you see the Empower Chart section. And you have the possibility to press the button Link to an existing PowerPoint object. I'm just doing this. And now I have to select the chart or table that I want to use. And I'm pressing on this chart that I already prepared on this slide and press on Create Excel Link. 
and now you can see that the data is important and moreover you can see that some default settings have been made for the Excel link which I can edit by clicking on this button and now you see the same window appearing that we already know where I could adjust these settings quickly. Now I'm going to show you how you can link an Excel file to a new chart and start an Excel to do so. So we're moving back to Excel and now we're selecting the next range that we want to use to create a new chart. I'm selecting this range and now I can go back to the Empower Charts section and press the button Link to New PowerPoint Object. Now I can choose which type of chart I want to use for this data. In this case, I want to use a waterfall chart. So I'm pressing this button and now I can select the area where I want to create my chart. I can either click on a placeholder or click and drag to define the area where I want to insert my chart. So I'm just clicking on this placeholder in this case and now you can see that we created a waterfall chart where I can edit the default settings as we already know via this button. The next way of how you can create an Excel link is to use the copy and paste function. To do so, I already inserted a chart on this slide and now move to Excel, select the range that I want to use, press copy and then click on the chart and paste into the selected chart. And Empower understands that you want to create a link between the chart and the Excel file and uses the data of the Excel file for this chart. Now we're going to have a look on how we can link a table to an Excel file. First of all, we can start an Excel to do so. So we're moving back to Excel selecting the range that we want to use for our table, link to an existing PowerPoint object, then I have to select the table and I press the button create link once again. So it's basically the same way as for a chart and this also works with merged cells. Above my chart there are a few options appearing where I can refresh the Excel link, I can open the link source, I can edit the Excel link, or I can break the Excel link. If I'm pressing on edit Excel link, I have basically the same settings that I already know from the normal charts that we've already taken a look at, but moreover I have the possibility to choose if I want to use Excel colors or not. In this case, I'm going to show you how this would look like. Press on OK. And now you see that this table uses the same colors of the conditional formatting as it uses in Excel. Note that when you select this option in other charts, for example, a stacked column chart or any chart that we've already taken a look at, Empower may not use the exact same colors as in Excel, but will choose the colors of the color palette of your corporate design of the current customizing that are the closest to the colors that are used in Excel. But when you're working with a table, Empower uses the exact same colors as in Excel. So now you know how you can create an Excel link to a table and start in Excel, but there are also two other options to start in PowerPoint to do so. The first option would be to right click on the table, go down in this menu and press the button create Excel link. And the second option would be to use the Excel link split button in the empower chart section of the insert section of PowerPoint and use the function create Excel link. I'm not going to show you this right now because I guess it's quite self-explanatory. Moreover, Empower offers the possibility to create text links. And how you can do this is what I'm going to show you right now. First of all, you have to click anywhere into the text. 
on the position where you want to create the text link. Then you can either work with the Excel link button and click on create Excel link. You see that Empower already understands that you want to create a text link. And the other possibility would be to simply use a right click and select the option create Excel link text. Now I have to select the Excel file that I want to use once again and I can select in this case the data range that I want to use which would be only this cell right here. I'm pressing on OK and I have the same settings that we already know right here so I'm just leaving them as they are. Press on OK and now you can see by clicking on the area of the text that it is linked to Excel and you see the same options appearing that you already know from the table that we've just taken a look at. Moreover, I can still format the text as it can be done with usual text in PowerPoint. And another feature concerning text links that can be useful, especially for power users, is the creation of multiple links at once. It is possible to, for example, link these four shapes to four Excel cells at once. To do so, it is necessary that there is the same number of shapes and Excel cells and that the shapes are arranged in a similar way as the respective cells in Excel. So they shouldn't be arranged, for example, in a circle or anything like that. If I copy these four cells in Excel, I have to move it back. So I'm using, for example, these four cells right here and simply press copy and then go back to PowerPoint and select these four shapes and press paste. Empower firstly helps me to insert the values of the respective Excel cells into the shapes. And beyond that, I have the option to create four Excel links at once by clicking on this button. Now you see that Empower creates four Excel links and you can work with each of them separately. Because you can link tables, charts and text to Excel files, Empower enables you to create and manage entire reports. Therefore, it is possible to, for example, refresh monthly reports by only one simple update. So these features can make your work a lot more efficient. Furthermore, you can also link Excel objects as images to PowerPoint. So if I have some nice and finished object in Excel, I can select the range, respectively object in Excel, then click on link to new PowerPoint object and select the option image. Now I can either click on a placeholder or click and drag to define the area where my object should be placed. So as you can see, this is how quickly I can insert, for example, this range as an image in my PowerPoint presentation. And this works very well for a chart too. I'm going to show you this right now. You can see that the image option is already pre-selected. And now I click and drag to define the area where this chart as an image should be inserted. The selected Excel objects from the Excel table will be inserted as a vector graphic on the slide. So the image is automatically locked in aspect ratio and will not be distorted if its size is being adopted manually. You have the possibility to link Excel charts, tables and ranges as images to PowerPoint. But I'll delete this slide because we don't need it anymore. Now you know in which ways you can create Excel links and how you can work with different elements. But I still want to show you how you can manage all of your Excel links. To access the Excel link manager, you go back to the Excel link split button. 
and click on Excellent Manager. This window gives you an overview of all the Excel links that are in your presentation. By default, they are sorted according to the respective slide number. And this little preview helps you to quickly understand where the linked element is located on the respective slide. Moreover, if I select the element, it will be highlighted on the slide. So this would make it easier to find the respective element. Moreover, I can find the function highlight in PowerPoint also in the bar above the list of Excel links. I can filter and sort my Excel links according to the slide number or the file that is used. And furthermore, I can change the path type that is used or the way of how my link should be refreshed. I can see the last update and the status of my link. And right here, I could see if there is a connection to the respective Excel file. So if the Excel file is accessible right now. In the bar above my chart, I can refresh all of the Excel links or refresh selected links. I can break Excel links or, for example, use bulk actions to change the settings. For example, from a relative to an absolute path for multiple links at once. Moreover, I can access the function edit Excel links. And this feature can be especially useful if I want to change the link source for single or multiple elements in my presentation. This means that I can exchange the original file for single or multiple links at the same time. I can directly switch links to another file if it has the same structure. The same structure means that the sheet names and the places of the linked ranges have to be the same. So I could select several elements and click on edit and could select a new file to link these elements to. An example where this feature might be helpful could be a monthly overview where now the information of a new Excel file shall be used. By clicking on the button rescan presentation, the whole presentation will be scanned for Excel links. A usage example would be if someone works on a PC without Empower and copies new slides or elements into the presentation that might also have Excel links. And now I'm working with a presentation and want to check if there are any additional Excel links right now to get an overview of all the Excel links that there are. I can access the window configure separators via the settings button in the bar above my list where I can define the number format that shall be used in the tables and shapes that are linked to Excel files by switching to the manual mode and defining the separators that I want to use. If it is set to automatic, the settings are taken from Excel. And note that you can change the number format for your charts directly in the charts in the data labels menu. But I've created another video on the data labels men menu where you can find further information on this topic. And lastly, I want to quickly show you the all of the features in the Empower ribbon of the Excel link button. You already know the function create Excel link and the Excel link manager. If I want to update all the Excel links in the whole presentation, the fastest way would be to click on this button right here, update all Excel links. And I can also highlight all of my Excel links on the slide by pressing this button to quickly find my Excel links. And this feature is also accessible in Excel. And you can find it right here, highlight linked ranges. And now you can quickly see which ranges of this current sheet are linked to PowerPoint objects. So I hope this video helped you to understand how you can create Excel links and use the Excel link manager. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.